did you feel? Well, you know, there was a, uh, you know, most people are going to defer possibilities right now. Unless you get a real strong win, we would have done the same thing, but, uh, you know, I don't know that it makes any difference. It, normally, the team that kicks off gets better field position for their first drive. Huskies have the ball. Full house backfield. Covington over right guard for three. Now, this is the start of the, uh, the T formation. Uh, we, we played some uh, two receivers, put, put Franklin back there some. We had to split in some, and uh, we just wanted to get out and try to attack. David Toy for no gain. Chandler rolling out to the right. Looks to throw his first pass. Uh, throws it away. Yeah, a little, a little bit too much. We don't like the quarterback to sprint right or left and throw back into the, uh, the center of the field. So Thane Cleland comes in to kick. Only a 30-yarder. 30, 30 he only lasted a couple of punts. He made a change. Well, the problem was he's, uh, he wasn't not only getting good punts or good hang times. They were bouncing the wrong way. They were coming mm -hmm. back at him. And uh, just a tough day for him. So we decided to, since we were home, we had Roger Gilbert there. We'd just give him a shot. There's Reggie Rogers, makes the stop on the play. That's Knight over the right side, getting his first start. Here's Pete, the young quarterback. Good pressure again by Reggie Rogers, and uh, he, he flushes uh, Pete out of, the, uh, out of the pocket. And this is the thing that he's got. They say he is the fastest football player on their team, and, and so that means he's got to have excellent speed if you think of their skill players. Third and two at the 46, Knight over the right side, good defensive play. A real big defensive play for us now. You know, get out of a drive when it's short yardage, especially against a power running team. Uh, and that, that was a fine job by Jim Matthews and Bo Yates. So fourth and three now at the 47. Trojans to kick it away. You had a pretty good rush on all day. Well, we were, uh, even in our returns, we were always bringing outside people. And Tim Peoples was uh, very close all day long. And, and they had to have a perfect execution, a, a good snap and kick to, to get it off, or Tim was going to get it. Chandler throwing underneath this to Weathersby for seven yards. That's first down play. And we had to also prove that we were going to throw out of this formation. So. Uh, uh, we come back uh, with the uh, with Rick Finney. That's after you get a penalty for, a guy, for illegal yeah. procedures, yeah. so you pick up three. So now it's third and five at the 25. Here's Finney on the outside. He's hit. The ball is loose, and SC recovers. And this is a product of, uh, of not practicing for about five weeks. He hadn't had a bit of contact probably for at least that long, and, uh, and then very little playing time, and he just, you know, you're not used to that. And, uh, uh -huh. that's, that's a good, good reason why you practice. That's why you have to have aggressive practices. So Finney fumbles the football. SC gets it back. Excellent field position. There's Pete rolling back, but he gets hit and stopped, tries to throw the ball away, but they said he was in the grasp right there. And I thought that was a good call. It's a, a nine-yard loss, good play by Bo Yates. He's tracking things down from behind, and, and Bo's got excellent speed. We've, like I said, we've got good contain out there by Ron Hadley, and we've also apparently got good coverage because uh, Pete has got no place to go. Okay. Well, it's almost picked off. Yeah, went right through uh, Joe, Joe Kelly. Kelly. Yeah, Joe Kelly's hands. Second and 19, Knight. Runs to the outside for six. Trojans with Pete did a little different look well, because he's so quick. Well, it, it just he can uh, he can go to the corner so much easier. And a lot of even drop back passes, he was scrambling. So we got good coverage here in the man coverage, and he I, mean, I think he just throws the ball away. So fourth and 13 at the 36. McLean in the hole. Here's the field goal attempt. It is up and a 52 yarder, and it's good. And SC's on top by a score of three to nothing. And uh, there was a slight breeze coming from uh, behind the kicker there. That's why you know most teams, when they had a choice uh, of goal, they would take the open end of the field. Shire to kick it off. He kicks it into the end zone. Huskies will put it in play first and 10 at the 20. Got an excellent block here on the first play by Burnham, 78 right there. You can see just uh, really, really knocks his man off the ball and uh, pick up four yards, or five yards. So second and five at the 25. Chandler looks over the middle. Good throw to this Jones. Is, uh, three. Delayed route to the tight end, and you can see the. the Protection is so much better this week than it was last week. You know, uh -huh. you can see Chris is back there, and he's, you know, he's got some room, got some time to look around. There's now a tailback delay uh, to Weathersby for seven. First and ten out to 35. Finney, he fights his way through for only three. Ah, it was Penny. What, 80 percent, 90 percent? Well, eight, probably 80 percent without any practice time. That's the thing mm -hmm. that, that probably hurt as much as anything. This Finney again, uh, a good block by Burnham for four yards. Third and three at the 42. Chandler. Going to Mo Hill. Oh, what a hit! Yeah, that got a little pressure there, and Mo took a good hit, but he hung on to the football, and uh, it's a fine seven-yard gain. First and ten at the 49. Chandler to Weathersby. That's good. Uh, good execution by everybody, but uh, one of our backs. And again, it was Rick Finney missed a call, uh, hadn't practiced much, and he goes the wrong way. Uh -huh. but, uh, you know, we're lucky we came out of that. There's there's no one over here blocking for Chris. Should be two backs, but uh, he does get the execution to Vince Weathersby. And picks up the first down. So first and 10 out the SC 40. Huskies on the move. Chandler. Now the option. You run the option with uh, Chandler. Now this was the next thing we had to get established. Uh, you know, we just can't run in there all day long. And it's, uh, 
you know, the ability to, to be able to get out to the corner and not have to knock everybody down or have the whole SC team there. You can see good blocks downfield. And, uh, you know, and Vince Weathersby, Weathersby gets a little more experience. He'll give that guy a little juke and get outside and go down the mm -hmm. sideline. Mm -hmm. That's where he's got to get a little better feel, a little more confidence in his running ability. Finney to the right side. He fumbles the football, and SC recovers. He can look from the end zone. The ball will come loose right there. Not just uh, you know, not a not a hard hitter. I think it's just it's just lack of playing time, lack of practice time. So SC has it. First and ten now at the 28. Pete back looks for Norman down the sideline and throws just a beauty. Thought maybe he might have pushed off, but there's no excuse for us to to be beaten like that. But uh, you know, that's the 68 yard gain, and, and this is the you know their one big play of the game. Mm -hmm. It's a good throw by uh, by Rodney Pete, the young freshman. He was 12 of 17 in the ball. See that game. hand go up there, and I, yeah. I just thought that it was just a little uh, little push off there. But, you know, the official didn't have a very good position there. He's just right there looking at it. So <laughs> I guess you know he, he didn't think there was any. Yeah. First and goal at the four. Knight around the right side, burst his speed, and he can fly. He gets in for a touchdown. Uh, we, uh, we we had it fairly firm, but we just didn't get our containment out wide enough. And, now this is SC of old. This student yeah, body this is right. What you expect, and uh, yeah. we obviously worked on this a lot. But, uh, this was not Vesty Jackson's responsibility to be out there to turn that play in. So Knight scores. Trojans get on the scoreboard again. They add the extra point here, and it's USC 10 and Washington nothing. And boy, things didn't look very good right now. Not right now. Uh, you know, I felt good about our defense. That uh, at least we had a couple of good series and we played the run pretty well, except for you know one pass. Of course, you know, when you get the two offensive fumbles, that didn't help either. I guess the question now is, uh, you know, can the offense put a point on the scoreboard? Yeah, we've, you know, we've made a few yards, but can we keep uh, a sustained drive going? Chandler, looking to the sideline, throws to Hill. This good for 12 yards and a first down. And this helps. It, uh, you know, it's first down to 20, so now you've got a little more breathing room. Covington. Good move by outside. Tony right there. They had a little fire charge on, and uh, he, he breaks outside of it, picks up three. Well, now you had your offense, your offensive line, those starters that missed the Arizona State game back in there. At Soldat and uh, Burnham got to play. Uh, Soldat did all the practice. Now we got a fumble right there again. Uh, you know, we're just we're not protecting the ball, but that's another player that's not practicing much because of his knee injury. And, well, it does make a difference. Covington. He picks up seven. That's a good play there. Zandowski and Soldat really came off the ball well. And again, that's the thing that we hadn't been getting. You know, just come off the ball and knock people out of there and get some double teams. And, and we fumble again. That's uh, that's the other problem with changing offenses. Mm -hmm. That you're going to fumble and lose football sometimes. And your execution is not going to be quite as good. Chandler, this time he keeps. He's big guy and he runs for four, but short of the first down by one. Well, the key, the important thing is we didn't take negative yards. We didn't get the sack, and uh, and that really helps. Here's a 28-yard kick by Thane Cleland. And, and look at it, you know where it's yeah. bouncing backwards, and uh, so it's you know Thane's having a tough time. He's uh, he's had two or three tough weeks out there trying to get. Uh, Get his rhythm, and he's not punting as well as he did last year. Is that just a cycle thing? Do you feel? Well, I don't know. I, he was punting pretty well, and we made a receiver out of him, and uh, we took him out of a lot of practice time. Uh, you know, Mark Hicks down there, he, he kicks, and he, you know, uh -huh. he plays running back, and there are a lot of players that do it, but uh, I felt like it, it really hurt Thane. And the last two weeks, he's just been kicking, so uh, you know, we've we've got to go back to work. And uh, there's there's something in his technique that we've got to uh -huh. uncover, and he's, got, he's certainly got enough leg snap. He's got enough uh, athletic ability. Good defensive play on third and fourth at 27. That's Knight for only two. That's Ron Miles. Now fourth and two. And Miles will get the punt. And he'll return it 53 yards. See if he can pick up the clips. Clip, I mean, there right two, there. Right there is one, yeah. yeah. I think both, both flags were on that same one. On that same clip? Yeah, I think so. And you think that was what it was? Ball loose. Washington recovers. Excellent field position, but they're going to bring the ball all the way back. And you get a chance here to look again. And this is what a clip is going to look like. You can see it on the left of the screen. Yeah, right, right there it is. Right there. He tried not to block and slid into the man. And you know we really don't. You know, there's a lot of times you don't have to make contact in the, the punt return. And uh, it's just you know careless. We've been careless all year on that uh, in that team right there. We, instead of getting the big plays like we have, we, we get a big play and cost ourselves a penalty. And with a guy like Ron Miles there too, you get a chance all the time. Because yeah, he uh, could run it back. Like I say, it's, uh, it, we've got a chance, but it's not, not much of one the way we've been blocking. <laughs> okay, so you trail by a score of 10 to nothing into the first quarter. What are you feeling? I've, we've got a lot to prove yet. We haven't established ourselves either on offense or defense. I, I felt like we were still coming out emotional. We wanted to play hard, but we've got, you know, we've got four fumbles in the game already in the first quarter, and uh, we've got a ways to go. Okay, we'll be back. Have the second quarter for you right after this. 
no matter what goals we set for ourselves, the way we reach them. And I think Chris Chandler at quarterback, first start, hands a little guy Steve Jones, and he's held a no game. Yeah, not much there. That's the inside belly part of the, uh, the tee, but it's. You know, we thought we could get a first down and bring in uh, Roger Gilbert, 31-yard kick. Fair catch by Washington, so the Trojans will put it in play first and 10 at the 15. Knight. This part of the attack is uh, what was really pleasing. We did hold up on it. We just then we we didn't get our secondary support in there uh, like it should be, and uh, they broke it outside for five. But there was a holding penalty. So first and fifteen, back at the ten. Knight, and find some daylight, and there's nothing there. No game. Alford and Rail again. We're we're probably more solid against the run against a good team than we've been all year. Just... Second and fifteen. Pete rolling out, looking down the field. Almost slips as he throws and tries to go deep and uh, just under through the ball. Bestie with the, uh, with the football. And we get a good return here. We get a 34-yard uh, return. Really sets up the offense. And this is, of course, what last year's defense did for mm -hmm. offense. Uh, set up a lot of short drives. And, and this is what you've got to have. You know, win a big football game. And here's Pete looking downfield. I was surprised they went this deep. And he tried to throw. You know, well, he hit the big one earlier on us. And, uh, yeah. and I'm sure he figured that they could, uh, he had enough speed he could get behind us. This time he's throwing into the wind. But as you say, this gives your offense a lift. If you can do yeah. this and pick up a couple of these, and all at once that offense is able to do something. Yeah, first down on a 17, and you're in four-down territory, it, uh, it, it puts a lot more pressure on that defense. So the Huskies have the football now. First and 10, as you'd mentioned, at the 17. Jones to the right side. Ooh, he's hit hard. Yeah, we, we've got a uh, sweep on into the boundary, and uh, we, get a, we get a late hit, which, which helps. We lose two yards on the play. You can see number 91. Comes off, goes through two defense, two blockers, and uh, just makes a great play. Yeah. And then and, uh, the late hit comes after late, that. Yeah. Okay. Second and two. So Toy little, for only counter one. play off of uh, off the tee, and uh, you know they've got a, a fire charge on. They get some penetration. Third and one. Chandler rolling out. He hits Weathersby. Touchdown. A play action pass. Uh, uh, it's again. It's we've been caught on plays like this ourselves. In fact, Arizona State got us on one. You know, you fake in there, and you make those linebackers worry about. Uh, Stopping running back, and here you got one in a quick flat. So it's a, it's a good play, a good execution by the Huskies. So Huskies get on the scoreboard early in the second quarter. Three plays, 17 yards. Jager will add the extra point, and all at once it's USC 10, and the Huskies 7. Now place begin to come alive, too. Yeah, we got to give them something to cheer about. And <laughs> there the defense made up for that, that long pass. Mm -hmm. you know, we gave an easy score, and uh, the defense helped get one back. So that helped. Now here we get a, a poor kick uh, for Jeff Jager under his standards. Uh, kicks a little low. But, uh, that's about 10 yards too much field position though. White returns at 26 yards out to the 30. Steel. Vince Fudsey and DeMoy Williams made the stop. Uh, Steele picks up six. So second and four at the 36. Are you surprised that Knight started a tailback? I mean, so heard earlier that people. they may start uh, all young backfield. Mm -hmm. with Pete. Fairly solid here. Uh, Rogers Kelly. First and 10 now at the 43. Knight goes to the outside. He picks up eight yards. They're in a one-back backfield, and uh, we were not uh, in very good shape on that play. Didn't just play very solid. Here's an interesting play. Second and two at the 49. Now Pete's going to throw. Batted in the air. It's going to be caught by Pete again. And, gets, Boy, and he gets hit by Andy Fumono. <laughs> he really <laughs> takes a shot here. Really does. Four-yard loss. Uh, Reggie Rogers, is, uh, the player, gets up and tips that ball. Now, that's a big play right there. And you see, now watch Andy come from the side. Boom, right there. It's a good driving tackle. Four-yard loss, as you'd mentioned. Third and six now at the 47. They come back to Knight on the outside. He finds a little daylight and picks up seven. Again, that's the, the one-back set. This this quarter here, they came up and uh, went some one-back backfield and really uh, really got off on a quick count. We were not getting settled, but we, we got pretty well settled right there. <laughs> Knight took some hits. Um, Real Matthews and Kelly. Second and nine at the 45. At the 45. That's Pete's a big going. play for them. You know, it's a, a real critical. Uh, pass completion, uh, eight-yard gain to Cormier. It sets up then a uh, third down one. And Knight picks up four and a first down, and they're just driving it down the field and all the time using that clock. Yeah, they've got a uh, pretty good success ratio on third and one. You know, their, their ability to run the ball and their size. Uh, there's, there's an off-tackle play. Weak, Miles and Poole on the tackle. Ron Hadley's out right now, and we've got Mark Poole in it, strong backer. Second and eight at the 31. Beats in trouble. Uh, bootleg pass, and, uh, and they didn't have anybody there to block Reggie. And uh, so we're, we caught a defense pretty good. Third and eight now. Pete rolling to the outside, froze. This is complete, but a good hit. It's good for only four. Yeah, Peoples and Erlinson both there. At, uh, it, again, it forces a fourth down play, which they've got to make a decision. They go for a field goal, and uh, 
A little wide to the left. And just misses to the mm. left. But again, this time he's kicking it into the wind. It's a little bit different. Yeah. A little bit of wind on it. <clears throat> so first and 10 now for Washington at the 27. Fenny back in the ball game. You took him out for a while and brought him back. Why? Well, I felt like he could just do the short yarded stuff. Uh -huh. He was okay on the quick hitters. And, you know, not to run a sweep or try to get him in a pass route. But they come back with the option in a 13 yard game to, uh, on the pitch to David Torr. Okay, here you get a good look at it again. Run that option. A Chandler again. The, the fact that he played, you know, sort of ran your scout team for Oklahoma, does that well, make a difference? That you know, he can run that option? All day, all spring and every fall camp, we run the option every day. You know? uh -huh. All quarterbacks run it. So we've run, you know, the only thing we haven't done is use it in the game much. Yeah. There they hit us. Uh, well, David's. Uh, in, uh, Chandler? Quarter, yeah, Chris has his hand back, and uh, they called it a fumble, and uh, Weathersby picked it up, made a few yards. So uh, they run a draw right here. And, and Rick, I uh, think if he could have been in better shape, he might have kept his feet up and, and gotten a little bit more on that. He picks up eight. Third and four at midfield. Chandler looking to Weathersby. Underneath this, good for nine yards at a first down. It's a delayed route, and it's good against teams that are going to sit there and just play zone drops. So, you, know, you, you get your delays, and uh, they're fairly easy to throw. It's another option back to Vince Weathersby on the, on the weak side to eight-yard gain. Second and two now at the 33. There's that full house backfield. Straight ahead. A signal calling's a lot better with second two, <laughs> second eight or nine. I guarantee you, this is a quick hitter to Covington. Good blocking again. Chandler, throwing to the outside. Goes right through Vince's hands. Uh, that's you know Vince had to turn around on it. He's got good hands. It's just uh, not easy, not able to make the play. We get the uh, toss sweep. It's fullback sweep, and Covington does a good job. Picks he gets up seven. Nine. Yeah. Sold that and Jones, Rod Jones, really had good blocks. Third and three now at the 21. Looking outside. Oh, mercy. Did he ever? Was, was that ever there, too? Uh, Chris did a good job of getting downfield with his eyes and, uh, and looking off. And, of course, we had a lineman out there. And, uh -huh. uh, again, I just mentioned Vince has got good hands. He dropped two in a row. <laughs> Chandler holding. Jager kicks a 38-yard field goal. And with 250 to play in the half, it is tied at 10. Well, that's uh, important to get that, uh, that three points. And uh, the nice thing about it is we're going to come back in, in within a couple minutes, play good defense, and get another field goal. Momentum, isn't that what they call the game here at this time in yeah. the ball game and at the end of the first half? Good play there by Joe Kelly, uh, Bo Yates on the you know, off tackle play. You can see, he's just trying to hit up off tackle. And they'll break that thing any place. But there's Bo inside and there's Joe outside. But defense was jumping up and down. I mean, they were throwing their hands in well, the air. Well, they were attacking too. You know, jumping up and down, throwing your hands in there doesn't help much if you don't get up field and attack. <laughs> <laughs> you get off the blocks. That's right. Albert and Roberts there. Polo for two, third and nine now at the 21. A little pushing and shoving going on there. And a lot of talking. Yeah, everybody's got to win the, the debate. You know, yep. It's not a debate. It's a football game. Shouldn't be talking. Great but, play by uh, Reggie Rogers. A one-yard loss. Here comes Reg. You'll see coming through. And at 6'7", 245. I mean, you get hit, you're going to go down. They don't get excited, do they? Huh? No, I tell you, when you throw people for a loss, you, Good cause to get excited. There's a 34-yard kick, but we're going to get a 15-yard return by Ronnie Miles. So I like can see him get some blocking and make some good moves. And, and in our offense now, really, you know, 39-yard line, we're not very far from a field goal. Mm -hmm. Do you get a little more conservative in, in this situation? Well, I'm no, we, field goal we just didn't want to take negative yards. Uh, uh -huh. You know, there Chris uh, saw the weak safety come into play, Mohill, and, and, he, and he put it behind him, and you know, he probably threw it away. That's what he did. Second and 10, 39. But see, Chris has got a little time. He, he set up and uh, then he scrambled there and tried to get to Tony Covington, but uh, you know, not right on the mark. So uh, You needed a few yards, though. Yeah, we gotta, we've got to get uh, just a few, I think. Good throw underneath. That to Weathersby for seven. That's a seven, and that, uh, that sets up 49-yard field goal, but that's, that's better than a 56-yard field goal. So kicks up, and you'll see it will just... Uh, just he might have made it 56 yards. Yeah, yeah, I think he could make the fib. It was very close. So uh, Washington leads at halftime by a score of 13 to 10, and we talked about momentum just a moment ago. And that must, does make a difference. You go up that tunnel, you're leading. I mean, after being behind. Well, you've of, got a, a much better halftime attitude. First of all, you're down 10, and, and you know that uh, you know you, you make one more mistake, and you, you could even be out of the ball game. But uh, now you, you're back in. You've got a lead. You've got to feel pretty good. What'd you tell the group at halftime? Uh, again, it's uh, it's. We got we'll just there. drive the ball out of the back of the end zone, and USC will take over first and 10 on their own 20. Now, did SC make any changes at all? You say that uh, Pete yeah. ran it very well. They, uh, they were running more quick counts, and they were, were giving us a lot of one-back backfield sets, uh -huh. which when they would do that, would uh, we were checking off, and they could predict our defense a little bit more. 
they, they, they run a sweep, then they run an isolation play, then they come back with the uh, bootleg, and, and uh, it's third and one, but uh, all Pete needs is, is two uh, to get the first down, and he gets it. That, that's what the play I don't think Salisbury would have been able to make for him. Mm -hmm. First and 10 out the 31. Pete throwing over the middle to Norman. This good for 16 yards. And it comes back, and uh, they've got the confidence in him to let him throw over the intermediate zones. You can see him fake, and uh, you know, you've got to honor their fakes. Now he's just going to get some time, and, and there's the split in wide open. So we mentioned good for 16. Pete in the game, 12 of 17, 175 yards. Here's Knight, and he gets hit and breaks a tackle and picks up three. He, uh, he takes takes some shots. He, uh, he gets hit by Rodgers and about four other players. Boy, there's young people out there in that field yesterday. Yeah, they really were. Was, uh, both, first, both, both teams played a lot of young players. Night for nine. First and ten out to 41. Kelly and Williams. We've got sophomore uh, Des Moines Williams at cornerback. Uh, Vesta Jackson had a little shoulder problem. He'll come back, but he's not out there right now. Second and ten at the 41. Pete looking for Cormier over the middle. That's good for 11 yards and another first down. So the Trojans are just... Early in the real. They, they just they picked two linebackers right there. Uh, this had a, a flat receiver. Now this this again. This is what he can do. Uh, we've got pretty good, uh, uh, pretty good coverage back there. We've got good containment. He steps up there, finds a seam, and picks up nine yards. Now they go back tonight for four. Peoples on the tackle. So first and ten now for USC at the Washington 17. Knight. Got a pretty good play. Uh, we hold this one to three. Uh, that's Hadley and Matthews on the tackle, and uh, and we get another. Uh, we get a get a minus here. Here on an off tackle play, we've got a blitz on, so uh, we've got people upfield, and it's just hard to hard to run your running attack with people upfield. We, we're going to get a replay of this. You can see Joe Kelly coming inside. Mm -hmm. There's Hadley moving up upfield outside, and uh, so that's uh, that's minus three. So we got a third and ten, real big down right here. This is the one we've got to get out of. Yeah. And, uh, and Pete really does a good job. Yeah. Throws it into the corner, touchdown. That's great execution on their part, and uh, we're a step behind on the rush, and uh, we're a step behind on the coverage. See here, our linebackers come. Our linebackers come free. And what we had, we had a, a read rush. In other words, we didn't assign the gaps prior. We wanted to try and pick some flow, and uh, that put us just about a step behind. And that's about all they needed right there. So USC goes out on top again. They add the extra point. It's 17-13, and uh, 9:03 to play, as you see in the third quarter. And that quieted the crowd in a hurry. Well, that's the one thing that we just knew we couldn't do. If we could come out and sustain a little offense, but get off the field three and out on defense, give our mm -hmm. offense who's fired up, give them a chance to operate. Uh, you know, if we get another seven points, uh, you know, maybe they're out of the ball game. Trimble returns at 16 yards. Huskies have it first and 10 out to 21. Weathersby. It's another counter play that uh, we had not run this particular play the first time that we got uh, nine <laughs> yards out of it. Second and one at the 30. Covington this time for three. So you get the first down, move the ball out to the 33. And Huskies will pick up 14 here. Chandler throwing it a hill. Mo Hill, what a day he had. What a great it's, it's catch. A good catch right here. It's, uh, Chris put the ball right out over the boundary where it had to be to be a safe pass. It's a fake draw. See, he's got, Chris has got pressure in his face. But there's just a good layout catch. Get the feet down, no question about it. Lonzel Hill, nine catches for 109 yards in the ball game. But I think everybody remember the last one, no matter yeah, what happened. I think the last drive uh, yeah. was almost a career for a lot of people. There's, there's again Covington in the middle for one, and uh, uh, we come back and uh, you know people say, well, why'd you run Covington twice? Well, that was really a checkoff play, and uh, you know we had another play up that uh, they had by their alignment stop, so mm -hmm. you know, that's the checkoff. That was deflected, so it brings up fourth and six at the 49. Gilbert comes in to kick. And that was there. I, you know, there was, there was, Covington was open, and Chris could have gotten the ball to him. I don't think there's any question he had a first down. Fair catch call for, so USC will take over first and 10 now at their own 10. That's 40 yard kick. That was a pretty now, good punt. Must stop them here. Good, good play there. Good play hit by Jimmy Matthews, but we got the whole team out there. A lot of people in on a tackle, and, uh, and get them in as, you know, second and long. That's what you want to do. Let them run the. Sweep and uh, you know we get another great play. We get uh, about seven guys in the tackle, but the last guy that hit, the uh, official said he hit too late. <coughs> well, he get a chance to watch yeah. it again. See the, you know, if the player's out of bounds, he's dead. If uh, if he's on the ground, he's dead. But now it's got to be a whistle since he's not down. We're we're holding him up and uh, mm -hmm. and they've got to protect him. So uh, it's, you know, it's sloppy on our part, but just really is a critical critical penalty. Knight for one, second and nine out to 26. Pretty good first down play again. We get second and long, but uh, they're going to they're going to throw one. Just a, a great job of throwing in the zone uh, zone coverage. And uh, that was an excellent catch by Norman uh, too. The ball was a little bit behind him, and then we had three guys around him. But uh, there's uh, the isolation play for two. That's second and eight at the 43. Pete rolling out the outside. 
bootleg again, and you know we're not as fast as him. <laughs> Our guy no. that's got contained is, uh, is, is is not able to not able to catch him. So that's another 10 yard gain. That's why I say Pete really did a great job in this, just helping to sustain these drives. That's Knight for seven yards, second and three at the 40. They'll come back, go right back to Knight again. That's typical SC. Yeah, we're back in, uh, in better shape again. We get no gain here. Uh, you see Reggie Rogers again comes all the way from the backside. Knight had 44 carries for 135 yards in the ball game. Real solid again. Uh, it's third down three if they pick up two. So fourth and one at the 38. Surprise you they would go for it? Well, the, the ball's on the 38, and uh, you know, the odds of them making a one yard any time they run the ball were pretty uh -huh. good. You know, because again, because of the concept of their attack, the size of their skills, uh, another good down, a good first down play there. Well, uh, you got a lot of people there. Toss sweep, good hit again by uh, the Moy Williams there. Second and nine at the 35. Pete throwing, and this good for six yards tonight. You know, it gets completion in there, uh, but uh, Yates and Erlinson are. We're right on top. 30, third and three at the 29. Oh, we got him contained. We let him out. Again, this is just individual athletic ability here. And uh, all he does is go out there and get a first down. Well, first and 10 now at the 25. Things do not look good right now. Not right now. Uh, okay. Knight for three. So the third quarter comes to an end. USC on a drive. They lead it 17 to 13. And uh, it's a little scary out there now. Well, the key thing is that they've, they've had the ball in like 12 minutes of the, of the 15 in this quarter. So. Uh, all right, we're struggling a little bit defensively. Can you run a back like that? I mean, they run them what, 44 times in a ball game? I mean, doesn't I mean a tailback begins to wear out after a while, doesn't he? Well, uh, not the real good ones. Uh -huh. but the other the other key thing is if he does wear out, you know, they got about half a dozen sitting there right behind him, and they're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. Have an incredible fourth quarter for you right after this. A crucial third and five at the Washington 20. Here comes Steve Albert. Watch this. Just a good individual rush. All four players are upfield good, and, uh, and quarterback's flushed out, and Steve makes a play. You can see Steve's on the right side there. Uh, Reggie Rogers puts pressure right there. Now, now Pete goes outside. Reggie had his jersey, but uh, fortunately we've got Steve Albert. That's a real big play. That, that takes, uh, that puts that ball back just 10 more yards from the field goal kick. And the 46-yard field goal attempt will be just wide to the right. And the kicker looked at it and said, wait a minute, I thought it was there. But it was wide right. That's what the official said, and that's what's important. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you and I think, what that's the players right. think. Chandler hit just as he throws the ball. Yeah, that's and for, he goes yeah, down on this play. He gets hit in the head here and uh, gets a little dizzy for a while. You can see the hit coming up right here. So he goes down hard. Now, he came out of the ball game, and uh, Hugh Mellon, sore shoulder and all, comes in to run the attack. Now, you weren't going to do anything here, just run it straight ahead, weren't you? Well, we really, there's, uh, there's when the trainers and the doctor came off the field, they said that Chris is going to be fine. He just, he's going to be out of, just a short while. He's got hit in the head, and he's, he's clearing up real quickly. So uh, we just felt like we'd just buy a little time and uh, uh, just not get exotic and not ask you know, Hugh to throw in the coverage and do mm -hmm. something he couldn't do. Were you in that delay of game? Were you buying a little more time there, too? Or were you just trying to get them to jump off side? Uh, we were going to run a running play. We didn't get a call. We had a oh. fake punt call. We didn't, oh. we didn't get it right. off in time. OK. A uh, 49-yard kick uh, with a fair catch by Gilbert. And uh, we, we got a good first down play and a good second down play, off tackle and uh, on both sides. Uh, Roberts, Kelly, and Albert on the last one. So this is the time that Washington obviously needs the football back. Knight drops the pitch. Pete recovers it, but a loss of four. So in third and seven, Huskies now will have a chance to get the ball back. That could have been a big break for us, but you know we don't have anybody upfield, and uh, Pete does a good job of, of paying attention to the play. So fourth and 11 at the 19. Spurl a kick at 36 yards, and a ball will be down. Now, a lot of people thought that the fair catch was called for there by Ronnie Miles. It should have been flagged. Well, uh, you know, Ronnie was trying to get where the ball was coming down, and, and those players were not there. They were they were in his way, but uh, I'm not sure that it's, it's their responsibility to get out of our way. Chandler for nine on a keeper. Well, this is the option play, and he kept it. Uh, again, it's good to have second down and one once in a while, and uh, there's you know, a good, uh, good play here by Tony Covington. Picks up four. So first and ten off of Washington at the SC 42. <coughs> Chandler looking to the outside. That's it's right play. to Vince's hands. Uh, it's a little firm. Uh, Chris does throw a very hard ball, and uh, you know, it's, it's a little tough to catch sometimes. This to Rod Jones, and it's good for six. It's third and four now at the 36. And this really hurts. You know, we just we have a bus. You know, we've got people to block that and, and just made a mental mistake. And <clears throat> the problem with that is that uh, it does a lot of things to you. 
it, uh, it could get your quarterback hurt. You know, gives gives you the 11 yard sack, and uh, you know we have we've just got to be smarter than that. We, you know, we can't can't afford to make those kind of mistakes. Now Gilbert into kick, kicks a six yarder off the side of his foot. I it's you know it's Roger. I'm sure was feeling pretty confident with his kicking, and uh, he wanted to put it down the corner. Somehow they just didn't get the ball on his foot. Uh, they bust the play, lose to uh, David Rills in there. Now you got eight minutes to play in the game. Trojans with the football, leading 17 to 13. Pete running to the outside. That's what hurts right there, losing contain and uh, you know letting him get down and get those kind of gains. A seven-yard gain on on a play that uh, with a lot of people would be a seven-yard loss. Third and five. Pete, again this time will pick up three before he stopped. Well, at least able to get out of the drive, and, and, and that helps. But. Uh, it's, it's not going to help for long. We're going to come in and get a roughing penalty. Now, was that a good call, do you think? Oh, yeah. You're, we're just not allowed to touch that punter. That's, uh, uh -huh. you know, I don't think there's any question about that. Uh, we've just got no excuse. I know Tim Peoples just felt that he had to make something happen. We're not going to win this game unless I can get a piece of that punt. And, uh, you know, when the fullback came over and blocked him, he just, he, you know, he should have pulled off and played give up. But, uh, mm -hmm. you know, he still wanted to try and go in and get it. So first and ten now at the 36 at the Washington 36 and time running out night for two. Ah, there's no way you're going to win this football game now. Do I don't. Well, it doesn't look real good. Uh, but uh, actually that's really what's that, that penalty is what set up the win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it for nine. It really did. Knight comes right back. He breaks this one big for 12 yards. Well he hit a nine and a 12 yard gain and, and what we're starting to do is we're starting to run some crises and blitzes and. And uh, that's fine. You, you know, you try to get upfield and, uh, and maybe get a big play, cause a fumble. But what it also can do is, uh, you know, let them pop through there and, and mm -hmm. get a big play on you once in a while. Second and eight at the Washington 11. See, Here's right. Knight. Yeah, there's another one right there. Oh, that's for yeah. 10. Now, the play of the game, maybe. Forget the touchdown. This league gave, gave you a chance. Fumble here, and it's going to be recovered by Ron Hadley. That's hard to believe. Yeah, and they've got people right there, too. They've got yeah. people on them. But uh, Ron just had a little big, bigger piece of the ball than they did. You can see the ball comes out at. Looked like a pretty good handoff to me. I, I read in the paper where they thought it was low, but uh, yeah. it didn't look that bad. No, it looked like a fairly good handoff. So we uh, we've got a long way to go, but uh, somehow or other we're going to get there. It's, uh, we start with Covington to get a little breathing room. And, uh, Second at seven at the back five. To the option and Chris makes a great play here. Uh, you know, it's just like the old option quarterbacks do that to step inside and pitch the ball. That's on. right. Third and two. Chandler back. Now watch. He will stumble right here. It could have been a safety yeah, if he goes down. Yeah, that would have. That's the end of it. Yeah, but uh, he got rid of the ball and, and gave us gave ourselves one more chance. I see the athletic ability of, yeah. a, of a Chris Chandler here. Stumbles, gets his balance back, and then finally rushes to the outside. He's going to throw. Uh, well, what to David Trimble off. and uh, their linebacker tipped the ball. So now fourth and two. He throws to Mo Hill. Well, that's a great catch. Mo wide open. I thought that was a late hit. Uh, they're not allowed to hit us when we're down. I just you know, I can't understand it. Uh, mm -hmm. Fourth down. Absolutely have to have this one. Boy, he stood in there, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, he got hit. And a great catch. Okay, he's down. Now there's a hit. That, the way the rule book reads, it's supposed to be a 50. Yeah, I would think so, too. No flag. First and 10 out the 25. Chris got pressure again. And uh, again, he doesn't get the ball to Rod, but he gets rid of the ball and uh, saves us a sack. Second and 10 at the 25. Chandler. He hit, hit right there. He had Mo Hill open, but he got hit just as he threw. and. Uh, that was an incompletion because of our pass protection. Third and ten. Try to fool him with a draw up the middle. That's good for only two. So here we go back to fourth down again. Fourth and eight now at the Washington 27. This was uh, you talk about a game of inches and the uh, Chandler. Oh, their number oh. 22 may have almost touched the ball. Oh, was, oh, oh. Just, was that he, close? Watch it yeah. again. And they've got good coverage, but you know Chris just whips the ball in there. And it's, Oh. And you know you know how tough that catch is with the flash yes. drill like that. When somebody flashes in front of you, to concentrate on that football, and that's a drill that, uh, that our receivers have mm -hmm. uh, almost daily. And there's a good throw right there. David Trimble uh, on a sprint out, and he breaks away for a few more yards. So that's uh, that's another 21-yard gain. So and he moves the ball into SC territory. Here, a chance to see it again from the end zone. And now we got we got pretty good uh, we're in pretty good shape. We got a couple timeouts, and, we, and we've got plenty of time. We just, you know, we've just got to use the clock. We can't can't afford to run it much, but that's uh, uh, 21-17 in a row. We're going to come back with another 11 yards, so that's a lot of territory in three plays. First and ten out to 35. Chandler looking to Mo Hill. Another catch over the middle. This good for 11 yards. And another Washington first down. We're down on the uh, 24 now. There's another replay of, uh, of that route. You can see Rod Jones is crossing. Uh, that underneath crossing uh, right there. Weathersby coming out of the backfield. It really is tough on the linebackers. You know, they, they read the stuff in front of them and they can't see the, the intermediate. Route. 
So first and ten now at the 24. And Chandler throws to the outside. Now that's to stop the clock. Yeah, that's just a clock play. With a minute 20 to go. To, to turn it loose. If, if David's wide open, he'll try to throw it in. Mm -hmm. But uh, the key thing is we've got to get the clock stopped. On to Rod Jones down the middle. He makes a great catch. It's an excellent the catch. There's uh, people all around him, and he's getting hit. But, uh, he's going to pick up nine, another nine yards. Just keep working it in there. And uh, Dang. As you mentioned, that's good for nine. Just short of the first down. Now third and one. Now we had a couple options, but we decided to go ahead and get the first and, uh, and just try to give ourselves then four opportunities to get in there and get the score. Oh, we four, four shots in the end zone. We had time to do it. First and ten at the 13. Throwing. Oh, Mo Hill one. touchdown. Yeah, this is a... Uh, they really did get a little confused. I heard the players uh, mention uh -huh. that, and then I saw it on the film. They got confused in their coverage. Uh, somebody was out of position, but the uh, cornerback there looked like was trying to play more man-to-man, -man, which they're not. They haven't played a lot of man-to-man. -man, so. mm -hmm. You get a chance to see it again. Channel looking to the corner of the end zone. It really bites on most uh, safety post route, uh -huh. and there was no weak safety, so I'm sure uh, you know the cornerback felt like he had to jump on it. So you add the extra point, win it by a score of 20 to 17, and what a finish. And even at the end, with SC driving down the field, I mean, their, their field goal kicker can kick the ball. I mean, you get that feeling that would they really come back and try to tie a game like this? Yeah. Well, I think if, uh, you know, if they'd have gotten within field goal range uh, with a second on the clock, they, they probably would have. What did you tell your team afterwards up there? Because everybody was so excited, and, uh, you know, this kept a lot of things alive for you. Well, I, I congratulate them. I, you know, we've I've been on them. The coaches have been on them. Mm -hmm. We've we've been on each other. We've been we've been upset and uh, we've been mad and uh, been been working hard. The attitude's been good and uh, we just uh, we congratulate them for coming back and getting a large large win and, and doing something that hadn't been done. I've I've heard now three different dates, but I think it's 1959 since a Husky team has defeated all four California schools, uh, and that's that's no small feat. That's uh, those are pretty good football teams. Okay, we'll be back. Talk to the players about Locker the room. Win. Talk to the players. This is what they had to say about the win over USC. It was a lot of fun, and, and it's it's really rewarding all the work I felt I put in, and it's really paid off in, in a big way. That final drive, what went through your mind? Well, I don't know. I knew we, I knew we, it was all or nothing, and we, we you know we were sure as heck we were going to punt. And on those fourth downs, I was thinking to just throw completions to get the first down. I really don't know what, what to think right now. It's still, it still doesn't really seem real. But great win, wasn't it? It was a real great win. I just thank God for giving me the ability to, you know, come through in the clutch situations. I had to, you know, suck it up in the end, but because uh, I was, I was kind of hurt and they was giving me some pretty good shots. I gotta give the secondary credit for hitting hard. That's for one thing. What about touchdown catch now? Uh, the touchdown catch was just a clutch play, really. It's uh, it was called an X corner again, and what I did, the free safety had, well, the corner had pretty good position on me. I had to give him an inside move to try and get him to bite on it, and fortunately he did, and Chris drilled it in there pretty good, and I'm, you know, it was a big play. Oh, exciting, wasn't it? Oh, very exciting. I'm so excited. I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> Friday night, we just talked about having a little pride, and, uh, you know, I think everybody did, and we went out and proved that we did. You got a little worried there at the end, though, didn't you? Yeah, it was close. You know, uh, we knew it was going to be close, and, uh, you know, we just had to fight to the end, and we did. Okay, exciting win to come back and win one like that. Oh, yeah, you know, we beat all four California schools, so, uh, you know, the season isn't as bad as, you know, everybody thinks. So what was the feeling now in a huddle as you started that final drive and you faced a couple of fourth downs? We just knew we had to do it. We just came out, everybody was fired up, and... Uh, it was a great feeling. We, we felt down in. We knew we were going to do it. So. <laughs> fun win. <laughs> it was fun, real fun. So. We knew it was a bowl game. That was, that was what really kept us going. Great football game. Great football game. Dreamed about it all my life. <laughs> Playing the Trojans like this? I love it. I love it. Any weather, I love it. Did you feel now going in? I mean, Nessie came out, played very well in that second half, and I thought you were going to let it get away. Yeah, they came out, and they came out uh, fired up. They were ready to play. You know, they regrouped a little bit. But uh, we had the momentum. We had the desire to win, and, and, and thank God we won. You know, I was very grateful for the touchdown because the series before, I had, like, hyperextended my, my knee. And so I don't know if I was going to go back in. So I go back in, and two plays later, I score. And, you know, the best thing about it is against the L.A. team. That's where I'm from. You didn't get worried, did you, on the sideline there at the end that you might lose this thing? No. For a second there, I... I I kind of, I don't know, but uh, I knew that, that uh, the fellas wanted it bad, and uh, we had a lot of faith in the offense. The offense said they are going to come out and play today. That's what they did. Okay, fun win. Exactly.
Chris did a hell of a job leading us down the field. He had played with great confidence, and he just just did what he had to do today to get us to, to win the game. Exciting finish. You ever been in something like that? Well, I've been in a couple like that, the Michigan game a couple of years ago here. But there, it doesn't seem like they, it seems like they get better every time you do them. When you win, it's a lot of fun, isn't it? In a game like that, just the momentum, the emotion, everything. You're about to see.